your eyes. I want you to relax. I want you to push all of your thoughts out of your mind. If a thought pops into your mind, that's okay. But just ignore it and push it away. said, you cannot replicate today 100%. It's totally impossible. Today is like a snowflake. It's like a thumbprint or fingerprint, if you prefer. It's totally unique. You may do the same tasks that you did today. be the same. So why can't it ever be the same? And why should you appreciate today? Because while you may go to the same job, you may go to the same store, you may go to the same restaurant, you may go to a concert, but they play the same songs every single city. What is different? Do you know what is different? It's your interaction with every other human being. And that's amazing. Some interactions are good. Some interactions are bad. Some, you don't even know they happened. And the reason of that is, is because as you head into work, as you pass the pedestrians on the street, Restaurants, the businesses, the street lights, the stop signs, the bicyclists, they all affect your day. The people in your office, it may be the same people. As they struggle and have experiences with their day, it's different every single day. You have to agree. One day, somebody at the front desk may be in a good mood. One day, they may be in a bad mood. A different day, they may be indifferent. And while you realize that you're speaking to someone or that they're sitting there, so many people can affect our days so differently. An elevator ride up to your floor in your building could happen hundreds of different ways every single day. So I want you to think about your answer.
ancestors that you know or that you have known. You know of some of their struggles and how strong they can be. But let's think back to 50,000 years ago. Your ancestors struggled for survival every single day. From hunting for food, chasing animals, if they were lucky enough to find one. To hoping that a tree will have fruit on it, or vegetables will sprout and grow, or berries will be on a tree. It wasn't as easy as just going to the store and picking it up. If they wound up injured, they didn't just go to the hospital and show them their insurance card. No. They had real struggles. They had people raid their villages and their settlements and take men and women and children of all colors, of all races, of all ages, as captives. And they could be forced to sell, be forced to work, or they could pass away. Think of how strong your ancestors were and these struggles that they had to push forward in every single day. They couldn't just give up. They had to push forward. You know how I know they pushed forward? Because today you are alive and breathing and listening to this. What a miracle. How amazing. Against all odds, wars, raiders, poor nutrition, famine, poor health, plagues, and just some bad luck. push through. How hard is it to find somebody today to live your life with who truly, truly knows you and gets you and understands you? A mate. Someone to mate with. Now you pick up your phone and you have a hundred thousand people at your disposal if you just swipe right. Your ancestors did not have that. Yet, they were able to find someone to mate with, to procreate with, to have offspring, and eventually let down to you. Every single one of them had to find another mate to be able to have more offspring. I mean, that's got to be 150,000 to 200,000 generations, if not more. That is a lot of ancestors. A lot of things could go wrong. It took only one issue in that whole lineage for you not to be sitting here right now listening to this. Out of all those ancestors, if one died before they procreated and made it, or had offspring, however you'd like to think of it, you would not be here. Statistics.
statistically. How amazing is that? Can you believe that? It's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. Today we have hardships too. Don't get me wrong. Our hardships are a little bit different, but we deal with the same types of basic hardships. But your ancestors never gave up. Ancestors never gave up. They pushed forward to the next day, even when that day wasn't the best day or it was an awful day. They still pushed forward. They never gave up. Because if they did, you wouldn't be sitting here today. So give thanks for today. Give praise for today. Thank God. Thank the universe. Thank fate. Thank your ancestors. Whatever you believe in. Give thanks. Give appreciation. Like I said, today will never be the same. You can never duplicate it, so appreciate it for what it is. If 10 minutes of today really sucked, don't let 10 minutes ruin your whole day. If your drive home sucked, or your tire popped on the way home, and you lost two hours out of your day, Appreciate that you're still okay and that you're safe and that you're finally at home and able to listen to this. Maybe your boss was being a jerk today. But now you're home. Don't let a little bit of time ruin your day. Appreciate today for what it is. A miracle. I know that if you push forward to tomorrow, it'll be better because in the back of your mind, you'll be thinking about how strong your ancestors were and and you'll realize how strong you are. The strength that is inside you is the same strength of your ancestors. It is genetically in you. That strength, you can always tap into it. Doesn't matter if it's a good day or a bad day, that strength is within you. So channel it. Tap into it. Appreciation for the day, for your life, for the things that you have, will make tomorrow amazing. Tomorrow is already amazing. It's what you make of it, right? Tomorrow will be a miracle whether you realize it or not. So take a few minutes and realize the miracle of life. Again, people affect us in many different ways. Like I said, you could be driving home and somebody could cut you off. And now, today is different.
different. You could go through the, the line at the coffee shop and somebody could buy you a coffee. And you pass it forward, making someone else's day even better as well. Embrace the miracle. Embrace today. Embrace tomorrow. Embrace your strength. I believe in you, and I wish you a better tomorrow, an amazing tomorrow, because you deserve it.